Hi, welcome to MonumentalMath.com. Today we're going to do an algebra topic, multiplying binomials. And I'm going to guess that you've had a little bit of an introduction to this, where you multiply two terms times two more terms. Two terms is called a binomial, so this binomial times this binomial. If we say, well, let's multiply this first term times each of these, we get x times x, which is x squared, x times 12, which is 12x. Then we do it with this factor. 1 times x is 1x, and 1 times the 12 is simply 12. Then you have, almost always, you're going to have like terms that you can combine. So we get x squared, you add 12x plus 1x. So you get the x squared plus 13x plus the 12. Okay, next one. First times first gets you x squared. First times last gets you 12x again. Negative 1 times x will be a negative 1x. And I'm going to show it as a plus negative 1 because it's easier to keep track of. Negative 1 times 12 is a negative 12. We can combine like terms, so we keep the x squared. Now we have a positive 12x and a negative 1x. If you had $12 and you spent one, you would have 11, positive, because you would still have money. And then you have plus a negative 12. Now we will put that back as minus 12. Is it wrong to do it this way? No, but this is more simplified. Okay, next one, x times x, we get x squared. x times negative 12, we get negative 12x. 1 times x, we get 1x. 1 times negative 12, we get a negative 12. Okay, now we have like terms. We have a negative 12, let's make that a plus a negative. A negative 12x and a positive 1x. If you're in debt $12 and you paid off 1, you'd still be in debt, so we're going to show that as a negative. x squared, negative 12 and a positive 1 becomes a negative 11x. And then we have plus a negative 12, we're going to show that as a minus 12. Next one, x minus 1 times x minus 12, x times x, it's going to be x squared x times a minus 12, I'm going to show that as a plus negative 12x. Negative 1 times x is going to be a negative 1x. Negative 1 times a negative 12, negative times negative becomes positive, so a plus 12. Combine like terms, you're going to get x squared, a negative 12 and a negative 1. If you were in debt $12 and you went in debt one more dollar, you'd be in debt. $13, so a minus 13x, and then plus 12. Now if you notice, these terms were quite a bit alike. They always had an x and a 1 and an x and a 12. It's just that I changed the signs, and little parts of the answer changed. This is called a trinomial. The answers became trinomials. It just depends on the problem as to where the signs are. Okay, let me get rid of this and we'll start the next problems. For set two, I have x times x, that'll be x squared. Now I want you to do this in your head or just do it up here. Positive 4x and a negative 3x. Positive 4 would be like if you had $4 and you spent 3, you would have $1 or 1x. Now 4 times the negative 3 gives you a minus 12 x times x starts you out with x squared. Then I want you to either do it in your head or up above. This becomes negative 5x, and this becomes negative 2x. A negative 5x plus negative 2x, it's like you're in debt, in more debt, you're in worse debt, so a negative 7x. Negative 5 times negative 2 becomes a positive 10. Next one, x minus 7 times x plus 8. x times x gets you x squared. 
negative 7 times x gets negative 7x. 8 times x becomes a positive 8x. 8x and a negative 7x would be like if you had $8 and you spent 7, you still have $1, so you have 1x. Negative 7 times a positive 8 gets you a negative 56. Done. Next one, we have x plus 7, x minus 8. So I reverse the signs. x times x gives you x squared. x times negative 8x gives you negative 8x. 7 times x gives you 7x. I better write that differently. 7 times x gives you 7x. Negative 8x and a positive 7x. If you're in debt, $8 and you paid off 7, you're still in debt, $1. 7 times negative 8 becomes negative 56. So the answers were much alike, except this one was positive because our bigger amount was positive. This one, the middle term became negative because our bigger absolute value was negative. Now you give it a try. Set one and set two on multiplying binomials. I hope you enjoy the challenge. <laughs>